Finances and Health, I'm Rebecca Stewart, a new pacemaker unlike any other. It is called the Micra, and it is implanted directly into a patient's heart. Joining me is Dr. Stephen Zweibel, Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology at the Hartford Healthcare Heart and Vascular Institute. Thank you so much. Sure. So you brought this with you. It is tiny. Tell us what makes this so revolutionary. So this is a what we call leadless pacemaker. Most pacemakers are implanted in the chest mm -hmm. with leads or wires that connect the pacemaker into the heart. Uh, the micro device is actually implanted through a catheter or a sheath in the groin into the heart. And this is the entire pacemaker. There are no leads. Uh, this gets hooked into the right ventricle. There are little tines that hook it into the muscle. Wow. We test to make sure that it's firmly inside the heart and then we release it into the heart. The battery lasts for about 12 to 14 years. Wow, now why is this such an advancement in care? This, you have the previous pacemaker. Sure. Tell us about the difference. So uh, in many uh, complications that may happen with pacemakers, these devices are under the skin. Mm -hmm. We can have problems with infections around the device. We can have problems with the leads that go into the heart. They can fracture or break. They can move to other places. With the micro, we eliminate everything that's under the skin. The wow. entire pacemaker is in the heart. There's a lower risk of complications, both when implanting the device and later on in life in the device. Uh, there are no leads, uh, and so we, we just have less complications with the device. That is amazing to hear. Now, who is the best candidate for something like this? Uh, so right now, these devices only pace the lower chamber of mm -hmm. the heart. So these are for patients who work only require pacing of the ventricle or the lower chamber of the heart. Wow, truly advancing your health. Thank you so much. If you'd like to learn more, head to WTNH.com slash advances in health.